then it was ported to to Android platform. The game is a quite simple 3D table tennis with a number of playing modes. There is an arcade mode and also two-player game mode to play with an op with a CPU opponent. You might play career or a tournament. So uh, this is the Android version of the game. You can see uh, some simple interface, some animated menus, uh, and uh, after you choose uh, your country and battle, you enter the OpenGL space, and this is the OpenGL game. And uh, here you can play table tennis with, uh, with an opponent. For example, if you press a button, you go back to the menu interface. So, uh, okay. So these are the main. Is there any pointer? Okay, so uh, these are two main playing modes of this game. This is an arcade mode to play with a wall to gain some scores, and these are uh, modes to play with an opponent. So you can see almost the same pictures. This jumping ball, it, it is not OpenGL, it is uh, also. Uh, Tizen menus uh, controls, and then you can see these uh, animated menus and so on. Uh, also, disappearing of ball and paddle, and, and uh, movement of this copyright label. Uh, so the problem was uh, first pro problem was uh, with with the button when you want to implement the native Tizen button. The button is very configurable, very good, but uh, you, you can put uh, different fonts uh, for uh, for labels, you can put uh, colors, uh, background images and so on. But the problem is that uh, you are not able to switch off the, the native sound click of this button. So this is what I address to the SDK developers. Uh, it, it would be good to to have just one function with the name set uh, sound click enabled false or true. Uh, so here we had to implement these buttons as the panels and to add some necessary performance and that's all. Uh, when you click, so for example this is the web Web view control and uh, this thing, this thing is a shortcut. Is a picture which is a shortcut. When you press it, there is a JavaScript code calling the C++ function of the application. And uh, if while I was to uh, to remove sound click from the button, uh, I was not able to remove it from here. When you click it here. You can listen with ah, sound, sound, yes. Oh, thank you. So when you click it, okay, when you click buttons, you you can hear just this sound. But when you click this shortcut, first you hear again. Just before you hear the native sound click of Python. So probably it is also possible to get rid of this thing. Okay.